number four then from this new hire specimen paper one what we got given that this equation this quadratic has no real roots find the range of values of p that would produce that oh so I'll just put that down, that condition down no real roots you'll find that from the discriminant that means that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac has to be less than zero that's that portion of the quadratic formula that goes inside the square root negative b plus or minus over 2a it's this thing in here because obviously if that's less than zero if that's negative then you're not going to get a square root well strictly speaking not one that's real anyway there you go well what are these three parts well it's the coefficients of x squared x and then what's known as the absolute coefficient the part at the end I think I'll just give them a wee courtesy bracket just to show they belong together now you could write them down separately to the side if you like a is the 2 b is the p c is the p plus 6 and that's the appropriate signs as well but I always think if you manage to do that then why weren't you able to identify it straight away here and say B is the P maybe I'll just put in a B bracket like a placeholder just now minus 4 times A is the 2 and then C is the P plus 6 do that if you wish it's more like a wee sort of security blanket really isn't it with a wee suki corner on it right next let's just tidy this up well p squared that's p squared four twos are eight so it's just eight times this bracket so minus eight times p and minus eight times six is minus 48 is less than zero now the first two marks for getting down to this one for this condition and one for identifying the appropriate coefficients now this isn't a quadratic equation but you would still factorize it because the real way that you answer inequations inequalities is to consider the graph of them so I think even before I start this part I recognize that the various values that this expression could give me will form a parabola because that itself is a quadratic expression for the various values of P if you put them across the way you'll get different values of this expression which if you plot up the way you know will produce a quadratic that's since that's positive which is the right way round if you like so that'll be the the values will go up here whatever you want to call them the values of this part that is actually the value of the discriminant how can I place this parabola appropriately on that diagram well I know it crosses at negative 48 but that's no use to me well it is a slightly use to me because at least it tells me it's going to cross and go back up so there will be two intersections but essentially is how can I place this parabola on the diagram to identify when it's positive and negative? Find the zeros. Factorise it. You would factorise it the same way as you would factorise an ordinary equation. But you're not factorising it for that purpose. You're factorising it to place it on here. Well, that must be a P times a P. Multiply to give 48 with a difference of 8. Four, eight, four twelves are 48 so it's a 4 and a 12 the negative goes to the larger and that says they're opposite but that's where you stop thinking of equations now don't try and form two separate statements you can't say oh they're both less than they're less than zero so either this is less than zero or that is less than zero no that wouldn't be true if that was less than zero it would be negative if that was less than zero it would be negative and if you multiplied them it would be positive but that says it's got to be negative so don't try and form two separate inequations the only way you'll get this answer correct is by considering the picture of the answers the only reason you factorized it was to find where this picture where the picture of all the answers to this how it lies in that diagram well that says it cuts at negative four that says it cuts at 12 and the positive p squared says this graph then looks like this that picture shows you which values of p will make it less than zero this is the value going up the way this is the portion less than zero notice it doesn't include zero so i don't really want the negative four and the 12 the convention for that is to put a little hollow circle there that excludes it the values of p that work here are these values in here anything between negative four and 12 will have an answer which is negative so whereas that was the third mark 
The fourth mark then just comes from the statement of that interval, which is P has to be less than 12. You can do it in two separate parts if you like, and P is greater than negative 4, but you can slip them together. Because that reads as P is less than 12, and that says P is greater than negative 4, reading the sign from the P.